Hello everybody, it's Wyvern here with another bit of Total War, where we do Quake Match gameplay. This time around we are on Wintertooth Ground, playing as the Forces of Chaos against the Forces of the Skaven. And I do believe it's actually Clan Pestilence here, but regardless, it's basically Skaven. And we are going with a bit of a classic build. Uh, I do think that in this matchup, it's great to go pretty mobile and go with a very elite front line. Now it might seem odd against Skaven who do have some great tools for cracking elite infantry, but Chosen are pretty monstrous. They can really hold their own, uh, just never give up and really clobber everything Skaven can throw at you. And backed up by some heavy hitting tools, they are pretty good. So front line, as I mentioned, Chosen. For our Lord Sarthoriel, I think Sarthoriel is honestly the best way to go. There are, honestly, I think just about every Lord you can, uh, for Chaos is viable in this matchup, but I really do like Sarthoriel for a few, few reasons. Obviously, first and foremost is his Missile Resist, which is nuts, uh, especially against Magic Missiles, which is most of the Skaven roster. Um, he's got 85% resistance to most of that, so that's really, really good. He also just got Fear and Terror, which is great. He's Unbreakable, which is really nice. Uh, he's got high mass, he's mobile, he can compromise backlines, and then he, of course, he does have the Lore of Metal, so you get a Caster and Lord all in one. Uh, he, of course, does have Standard Die, he's got Arcane Conduit. Final Transmutation, really good for sniping Lords and bullying Skaven death balls. Oftentimes you'll see, say, two Plague Priests <laughs> and a Grey Seer or a Skrulk or something blobbed up, and it's really cancerous and annoying to play against. Final Transmutation can really disillusion that sort of play and get rid of it. Uh, Plague of Rust, which also helps, it synergizes very nicely with Marauder Horsemasters, makes them much more effective against Furnaces and that sort of stuff, um, and Searing Doom to beat up on Blobs, so all in all, very powerful. On the flanks, or in the back, I guess we do have two units, or three units of Marauder Horsemasters. These guys, of course, have basically a conventional uh, Light Cav, they've got good mobility, 50 armor, uh, respectable melee stats with the benefit, of course, of Javelins. They've got lots of range damage potential. Uh, they do 18 and 8 range damage. So their AP isn't bad to begin with, and with Sarthoil's debuffs, they can be even more important. They'll wreck basically all the unarmored stuff Skaven put on the field, and even, even Doom Wheels and Plague Furnaces will go down if you hit them with Sarthoil's debuffs. We also do have two units of Chaos Knights with Lances. These guys, of course, can run rough shot over Skaven infantry formations. You just do have to be careful about artillery and that sort of stuff, of course. But they also do cause fear, which is nice. And, of course, their melee sets are just monstrous. Uh, for a shot cap, 42-34 is pretty nuts. Uh, that's almost on par with, say, Dragon Princes with Martial Prowess active, I think. Um, the melee defense is a little bit less than that, but still, it's very, very high. And finally, two units of Chaos Warhounds with Poison. Not much to be said there. Good harassment and uh, zoning tool. My opponent, he did decide to go super wide and super, I guess, melee centric, uh, though he definitely has a lot of mid or short range firepower. For his lord, he is running Skrulk, who is here on foot, of course. The filthy rat is a pretty common sight. He's just the way to go. Um, he Here, he's actually pretty stripped down. He's only got Pestilent Birth as well as Vermintide. Uh, of course, Libra Bubonicus, Rob of Corruption, Stand Your Ground, and R of Pestilence, as well as Plague Rash. Surprisingly, no Wither, which I think is amazing with low AP or lower AP. Front lines over here, I suppose my opponent did go pretty, most of his stuff here is pretty AP-centric. And perhaps he was expecting me to go a bit lighter right, when it was chosen, whereas, which is pretty nuts. Um, alongside him, second here, of course, the Plague Furnace. You will almost always see this guy, really annoying to deal with, but yeah, he's a consistent sight. And of course, he's got even more summons. He's got another Pestilent Breath of his own, the, the Bound Pestilent Breath that he gets with the Furnace, uh, more Plague Monk summons, Vermintide, of course, and then Scrying Stone to protect himself. Alongside that, my opponent does have some Night Runners with slings out on the peripheries. Uh, he also does have some vanilla Night Runners here in the center. A whole bunch of Rat Ogres, three units of them spread out. Frontline compares with Clan Rats, some Death Glow Bombardiers to really beat up on my infantry. And then two units of Stormer and Halberds. So, all in all, it's a pretty well rounded build. Uh, the Stormer and Halberds, perhaps a little bit of an odd choice. I don't, they're just not going to really defend. I feel like you need some better anti large point defense here, but we will see how it goes. Uh, I, do, I do personally like bringing some Poison Wind to the Regardless, over here, you can't see my opponent here pushing forward with his Rat Ogres, trying to zone me out, perhaps, or perhaps just losing track of his troops a little bit as he was pushing forward, trying to reposition. So I'm going to take advantage of that here and get a nasty volley. You can see a huge volley coming in from the Marauder Horsemasters, dropping their leadership, and comes to throw, breaking up their charge, and then before these Rat Ogres can really stop me, we get our Chaos Knights into the charge, and you can see these Rat Ogres completely collapse. Now, they are being harassed and damaged. There are some Rat Ogres. These Rat Ogres over here pounding on my Chaos Knights, bringing a few of them down, throwing them from the saddle. You can see that over there with his horse rearing up. This guy's already dead. Poor guy, but we completely break these rat ogres and they just fall apart. They cannot stand to that combined charge of chaos War knights plus Sarth Royal plus the hounds plus that short volley of fire. Now, unfortunately, death globes going in now. Death globes not meant against large, but they are still going to do stupid amounts of work. They really mess up my uh, poor chaos warhounds here. They but chaos warhounds basically instantly route there, and the chaos knights route as well. So definitely, our uh, fall apart pretty badly there. So. Definitely rough, but we did completely shatter your Rattogers, so very big win early on. My opponent essentially down 800 gold, which is really nice. 
Now elsewhere, over here, my opponent does push his Plague Priest forward, but unfortunately he's not getting his summons to zone my backline. You can see we are going to hit this guy with a Plague of Rust and start whittling him down with the Javelins, and my opponent is not moving him, which is going to make him a prime target. Anytime over here, Chaos Knights are going to get a bit of a crappy charge in on these Rat Ogres, but Chosen, of course, monstrous unit. The Chosen, just let's look at how well they're doing. They're already just holding up these troops. They're holding up the Stormvermin. They're holding up the Clan Rats. With some help from Chaos Knights, of course, but... Still just doing so much work here. Tying down this front line. In the meantime, Javelin's wrecking these Plague Priests. And Sarthal does dive into the back line. Being hit by Skrulk, of course, with all of his buffs and deep or with all of his debuffs. And we actually drop a final transmutation here, melting Skrulk, melting uh, the uh, death blow. But unfortunately, Sarthal there with one of his derpy animations just kicks Skrulk out of the AoE final transmutation. So solid half of that spell basically did nothing. And that is incredibly frustrating. I was mildly ticked off when that happened. I should have really cast it on Skrulk, but uh, I misclicked the, the death blows instead, so. Shame on me for not aiming properly. Still, very annoying. Even time over here, the Plague Priest is getting shot to death. So Thrill does dive in. And of course, although he's trying to mortar ascension my troops down here, it's not going to work. We're going to get this guy. We're going to knock him down a peg. And he's not going to last much longer. Meantime, there are Night Runners applying pressure. Now, my opponent probably brought these guys to really zone away units like these Marauder Horsemasters. Um, but they're just not working out. Over here, in the meantime, my opponent's Night Runners are actually going to beat off my Chaos, Chaos Warhounds. Chaos Warhounds is really not the best in melee. Um, these guys are the unchevroned ones to boot. Uh, and with the sling support there, they're going to win out. But in the meantime, the Chosen holding their own, just buying time with their stupid survivability, beating down the Clan Rats, and the Chaos Knights are now breaching the line. You can see Hounds going after Night Runners, Chaos Knights jumping into those uh, Death Globes, and over here, Shathrail with the other unit of Knights getting in on the second unit of Death Globes. And they're going to tear it out at this point. You can see we're just overrunning these guys. So my opponent's front line at this point very much compromised. These chosen and wavering actually on the verge of routing uh, because I think of scrolls contaminate. But then with the sudden route of the Stormvermin, uh, we're able to sort of keep the chosen in the fray here. Uh, these plague monks here trying to help. This is one of the summoned units, uh, but they're just going to get charged down and sent fleeing with these Marauder Horsemasters. And Marauder Horsemasters are so nice because they're a light cab unit. Once uh, once lines break, once things kind of fall apart, these guys still do such an immense job. Chosen in the meantime, of course, not giving a damn, just being the snot out of scroll, because they're going to beat out the snot out of basically everybody. And so Thrill roaming around, using his mass and his terror to just bully these lower tier units. Over here, the Storm have been trying to collapse on the back of the knights, on the knight runners, get rear charged in turn by a second unit of knights, and uh, with their proximity to scroll here, or to uh, Thrill here, it's likely they're going to route, or I was expected to tear out, but I guess not, they're just routed normally. Uh, so Thrill in the meantime, roaming around like an absolute nuisance, forcing route after route. Skrulk over here getting beaten down by the Chosen. I, I don't think that in the long run he would be able to win out here, even if he didn't shatter. And that is going to be a game for my opponent with just everything falling apart. See the Marauder Horsemaster doing some cleanup there. So I think this is obviously the build here. It went, was a pretty straightforward and blunt force battle. Uh, not not much to be said, I suppose, perhaps in um, entertainment content. But I do, do think this is a good build to go with, with if you're going to you know, escape him. Um, and. Chaos Knights, of course, will just run over most given trash troops. You can see here they gain one and two chevrons. The Chosen, of course, will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Anything. Storm from in. Uh, sensor bearers. Whatever. You name it. If this game can put it on the field, the Chosen can crush it. Um, and the thing is, you might think halberds are a good way to go because they give you some more staying power against something like a Plague Furnace or a Doom Wheel. But realistically, what I find is that the anti-large doesn't matter that much. Um, the main thing is you want to survive longer, survive as long as possible, and the Chosen are going to really do the job for you. Plus, they can dice up that tra cheap trash that tends to protect those big units that cause you trouble. Um, whereas Halberds will just not chop up those units that quickly. They're not going to be able to um, survive as long because their melee defense just is not that high. It is this is like in the 50s, and it's, but it's not as good as the Shielded Sword or Axe and Shield ones. And, of course, these guys are much more susceptible to missiles. Uh, so the uh, halberds are much more susceptible to missiles, which can matter. Obviously, against death globes it doesn't, but against some Skaven missiles it does matter. Um, so regardless, that's my few cents there. So still, of course, very potent. Fear and Terror, stupidly good. Marauder Horsemaster is an amazing unit. I, I like them in general, but definitely in this matchup they can shine a lot uh, with that pressure they apply. And of course, hounds, whatever, they're decent. <laughs> For my opponent's build, I don't think it was necessarily bad, but I do think um, the lack of real counters here to uh, sort of thrill, or well, I suppose not exactly lack of real counters, but my opponent kind of committed to the fight with his Rat Ogres a bit prematurely, and I think that bit him in the rear. Uh, I also do think a wider front line would be ideal. I think you could ditch these Night Runners, uh, probably ditch these Storm and get more Clan Rats. If you're just going to hold and look to win by Bombardment and Rat Ogres, you can definitely do some alternate builds. Um, 
and uh, it can definitely pay off. So uh, otherwise, the hero core here, the, I think the idea is not bad. I, I just think that a bit of the execution, I think a bit of the overcommitment to Stormwind is a mistake. I think you're just better off. Um, if you're going to go Stormwind, bring Sword and Board Vermin just so they hold better. And uh, other, and perhaps bring the Armored Sundering debuff on like Priest or Skrulk so they can contest something like Chosen or especially Chaos Warriors. Um, and yeah, that's my, that's kind of what I think you should, is probably going to help you out a good bit uh, if you're trying this sort of build. Regardless, well played with my opponent here. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you found it entertaining and fun. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share. If you have any comments, any criticism, any questions, don't hesitate to post them. And I will do my best to respond as soon as I can. I do thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.